everyone. We are here with Joe, and I am so excited for you guys to hear his story today. Joe bought his very first out-of-state rental property um, in the Success with Rental Properties coaching program. He lives in Denver, Colorado, and bought all the way in Independence, Missouri. So, Joe, why don't you tell everyone, I mean, I know all these answers, of course, but tell everyone maybe a little bit about yourself, um, you know, what you do for work, and what got you interested in starting to, you know, interested in thinking that you want to be an investor and in, in invest in rental properties, like your why? Yeah, so I've known for a while now that I've wanted to get into real estate and uh, working with Casey's helped me determine that uh, long-term buy and hold is the, the strategy I want to go with. And um, yeah, I've been working with her for the past five months and here we are. I just closed about a month ago. Oh, exciting. So what other, uh, what other markets did you research or was, you know, what was your maybe hardest part? Because I know everyone says researching, finding your target market, like that's always one of the biggest hurdles. Were there any other markets you were considering or what was your Yeah, that was the your... most difficult part for me. So originally <laughs> yeah. I started out uh, before I linked up with Casey, uh, started out looking in Clarksville, Tennessee. I hooked up with an agent. We were looking at properties and I just couldn't make the numbers work for anything. And after maybe two months, I got discouraged and stopped. And maybe a month later, I ran into Casey's Instagram and messaged her and signed up for her course. So what was the thing that you enjoyed the most from the coaching program? I know we had, you know, our coaching calls and there was an online course and all that. What was, what did you benefit from the most? I loved the accountability of it all. You know, it, it's a five month course, but every week I had homework to do and I just took it week by week, did my homework. And then next thing I know, we're five months in and I'm under contract on a property. So tell us about your property. Maybe like, what's it like? What are the numbers? Um, give everyone who's watching some details. Yeah. So I purchased the house for 155000 It's in Independence, Missouri, and it's going to cash flow uh, $450 a month, which I'm thrilled about. Um, originally, when I first crunched the numbers, I was anticipating bringing in two fifty a month. Wow, what a difference! Yeah, what's your what does your brand new wife say? Uh, she's thrilled. She's thrilled. She <laughs> wasn't too happy with me wanting to do this right before the wedding, but um, it's a, a little project I took a hold of, and uh, it was a success. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Joe. Now you just got to get it rented out. It's the end of the year. So like I told you earlier, it might take a little bit longer than anticipated, but fear not. And remember, never lower, you know, your criteria and always, um, always just stick to your guns because like I always say, no tenant is better than a bad tenant. And I know sometimes it right. feels like no one's renting my house right away. Quick, let me throw anybody in. And it's like, that's the worst thing you can do. Right. The absolute worst. So you know, you'll get it rented. It's only been a week, so <laughs> you got it on the market. Um, so I'd love to hear, you know, why did you want to start investing in rental properties? Like why? Why rentals? Um, you know, I think I've been investing in the stock market for, I don't know, probably close to 10 years now. And there's so many highs and lows and um, I also wanted to diversify what I was doing too. I have a certain percentage of my savings in the stock market. And I also knew for a long time, I wanted to get the real estate. I just never knew exactly how and uh, really just started listening to podcasts and following Instagram accounts and, um, over time, you kind of get bit by the bug. Yeah. Yeah. What, um, 
so you did, you listened to podcasts and probably read books. How long were you kind of doing that research and understanding? Yeah, real estate about you two years plan? when I really jumped in and I probably had analysis paralysis for yeah. a year and a half, wow. just consuming information and mm -hmm. got to the point where I really knew everything. I just had to go out and take action. Yeah. So yeah. I attempted to do that in Clarksville, Tennessee, and that didn't really work out. You know, I was told that that is a attractive market for investors. And when I actually dug my teeth into it, it was. Yeah. And after, after getting discouraged, I reached out to you and you helped me find the Kansas City market, which was huge. You know, that uh, you taught me how to find a market, but then reassuring me and just reinforcing that the decisions I made are actually good ones was super helpful, too. Yeah. Good, good. So would you say that one of your biggest hurdles, you know, one of the biggest reasons why you maybe join the program, now I'm just guessing, so you can tell me if I'm wrong. This could be a question for you instead of me guessing. <laughs> Um, would be that you kind of knew what you were doing after all the research and you tried, but you were stuck in actually, actually making the decision for fear that maybe it was the wrong one. No one definitely. to validate you know, your answers. Yep. Okay. Definitely. You know, when, when we finally, when I finally picked Kansas city, it still, you know, there was a lot more work to do, but when I went in we had our weekly meeting and you actually reinforced yeah, Kansas City, the independence, Missouri is a good real estate market for investors. Uh, just made me feel more comfortable moving forward. Yeah. Okay, good. So if you, one last question for you, Joe, if, if someone were to call you up and say, hey, Joe, I saw you on Casey's testimonial video. I'm thinking about joining her program, but I don't know, you know investment and you know is it worth it what would you say to that person i would say it is absolutely worth it you have to have all your ducks in a row before and probably the most important thing is you actually have to do the work there's weekly homework and if you just think you're going to sign up for the course and fly through it without doing the work uh, you're not going to get anywhere but if you're prepared to do the work and, you know, spend the time involved, Casey's going to help you make the right decision. And in five months, you will have a investment property under contract. Well, thank you, Joe. I really appreciate it. It has been wonderful working with you. Keep me updated. You know, it's great working with property. you too. Yep, okay. I will. Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much.